Energy and Energy Industries Minister Stuart Young and Venezuela's Minister of Petroleum and President of PDVSA, Pedro Telecha, signed the document on behalf of their respective governments. What it means now is Trinidad and Tobago can resume doing business related to the drug and gas field. PDVSA has found reserves of 4.2 trillion cubic feet in the dragon field on the Venezuelan side of its maritime border with Trinidad. The project stalled about 10 years ago because of a lack of capital and investors as well as U.S. sanctions. The Office of Foreign Affairs Control of the U.S. Treasury Department, in charge of enforcing sanctions, authorized this country to exploit the field on the condition it does not pay a single dollar to Venezuela. The Dragon Field is located in the northeast of Venezuela, near the maritime border with Trinidad and Tobago, adjacent to Trinidadian fields currently operated by British Transnational Shell. At the signing ceremony at the Miraflores Presidential Palace in Caracas, Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro said the next step would be to sign agreements for the joint exploitation of the shared Lauren Manatee fields in Trinidad and Tobago. Shell has interests in Lauren Manatee. The president also issued an invitation for Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to visit Venezuela. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.